respiration. In human beings, air is taken into body through nostril of nose. The respiratory organ is present within the body and the organ is covered by a surface which is very fine and delicate and the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place across this surface. The structure of the organ increases its surface area when it is in contact with oxygen rich atmosphere and there are pastures that takes air into organ. And there is a mechanism for moving air in and air out. Let us learn the mode of respiration in lungs from the following diagram. Air enters into body through nostrils of nose. The nostrils consists of fine hairs that lines the passage, the way through which air passes, and also lined with mucus. What is the use of fine hair and mucus lining in the nostril passage? The fine hair of nostrils filter the air from dust, dirt and microorganisms and mucus also traps the dirt and facilitates smooth flow of air with its moist characteristic. Then the air passes through throat. The throat also called as windpipe or trachea which is surrounded by rings of cartilage. What is the necessary of rings of cartilage? ROC helps in free unrestricted flow of air through windpipe and helps in preventing air passage from collapse. If cartilage rings are absent then it increases pressure during exhalation on compression of ribcage and windpipe will be closed, restricts airflow and interfere normal breathing. Through throat, air passes into lungs. Within lungs, the passage divides into smaller and smaller tubes and finally ends with balloon-like structures which are called as Alveoli. The alveoli is the surface where exchange of gases take place. The wall of alveoli consists of network of blood vessels. As we all know, when we breathe in, we lift out ribs. Then diaphragm flattens, followed by chest cavity becomes larger and that gives air is sucked into lungs and alveoli is filled with air and then blood carries CO2 from all parts of the body and releases CO2 into alveoli and that proceeds to the oxygen that is present in the alveoli is taken by blood by alveolar blood vessels and finally oxygen is transported to all cells of the body through blood vessels